Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How to call a report in another report in SSRS and map parameter? So we are talking about sub-report. Sub-report item can be used to display another report in the main report. So let's assume that we have created some reports and we would like to call them in one of the report. So think about a scenario. This is our master sale report. And you can see that I have a region column and I have a detailed report column here. In the region we see Asia, Europe and North America. And here we do not have any detail. What I would like to do, I have created one detailed report and I would like to display right here. So in front of Asia, I want to take Asia region or Asia value and pass that to the parameter in the sub report and display the contents here. Same goes here. I would like to take Europe as a value for that report parameter and display the contents right here. So let's go ahead and take a look on that report. Now here we have a sub detail report and uh, if you see here this is accepting a region name parameter so if i will pass that value let's say if i will pass asia i will see sale person first name last name product name item sold and region i don't really need region here i just have it here so to make sure our report is working we can delete that later so now from here you can understand we have to pass the region name for this uh, report to run and uh, this can accept Asia, Europe or North America or any region. So what I'm going to do in the master sale report, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me see master sale. Okay, here. So in the master sale, uh, we have the region and then uh, we would like to display the details. So I'm going to right click here and then uh, let me go to the insert and bring sub report. Once I have the sub report, I need to map. Right click, sub report properties, and here we are going to map. You can name anything what you like. I'm going to leave this one default and use the report to a, as a sub report. And we know that it was a sub, let's start with sub sub detail right here. And it is accepting a parameter. So we have to add, and then a parameter name is region name and then value is coming from the region column so this is the value column in the main report now we are done and now if we run this report we see that it is taken each time it is taken different value so let's say in the asia i took that and display all the record for asia it is the same report but it is running for each of different region value so europe it took that value and then displaying the results for this one and for north america you can see that we are only getting a north america results here so that's how you will be calling a report uh, in your another report and uh, uh, to map the parameter first you have to have a sub report item and once you have that one you will be going to the sub report properties and then uh, here you will provide the report name and then go to parameter provide the parameter name here and then map to the column. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.